Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Amazing Animals. I'm Brian. And I'm Kylie. And if this is your first time, please click that subscribe button and click that bell. Get notifications when we post up new content. It has been crazy around here. We got baby capybaras all over the place. We have the thatch people just came out, rethatched all of our tiki huts. Then we had wild nights. What an amazing night it was. I've always said that's my favorite event we do. It is so much fun, so much delicious food and drinks and animal time. And we just had a ball. We had Maria Berry, our artist, come out, uh, auctioned off some live artwork that she did for us of the sloth and capybara. That was fun. Yep. Thank um, you to all of our amazing vendors and yes. supporters that came out uh, from Three Seas Catering to the food the delicious cupcakes by Candyland Designs, the amazing delicious beer from Brews and Blues, the whiskey was flowing uh -huh. from Bird Dog Whiskey. Um, it, it was it was and, so much fun. And wine. my favorite, Digress Wine. She loves the wine. Thank you guys I was so getting much. there. Okay, all right. Yeah. Can't forget the wine. The though. wine was here. The wine was flowing. It was so much fun. Thank you for everyone who helped us put this together. Um, our volunteers that came out, it was such a blast. Uh, we sold a little over 50 tickets. We had about 50 15 or 20 guests here um, that were supporters of the facility uh, that's helped the preserve uh, along the way um, and it was almost 80 85 people total so yeah. what a great night the silent auction we raised a little over five thousand dollars 53 90 something to be exact so it was an amazing amazing night thank you we couldn't do it without you we really appreciate it yes and this is how we're able to do everything so yeah. I mean it takes a lot a lot goes into all of this, so having a really fun, successful event just like makes it all worth it. Yeah, we did some videos. Check it out. Hey guys, we're here from uh, Digress Wine Bar in College Park. We're so happy to be here. Really excited to be able to help out our community and we just love amazing animals. Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome to Amazing Animals. Uh, I'm Andy Dennis with Three Seas Catering. We are the ones catering tonight's uh, little event for uh, now the fifth year, I believe, that we've sponsored all the food for it. Uh, we're located in Tampa. We do everything from party platters that you come pick up to full service sit down weddings. So uh, we do a lot of community involvement with churches, schools, nonprofits, that kind of stuff. Love animals. Love, love, love animals. So we're excited to be here. We've got our buffet set up. We've got Andrea with the lovely prescription glasses there. And uh, Austin up here taking care of everybody. So uh, if you ever need catering or anything like that, uh, check us out online. Uh, three C's Catering. It's the number three CS Catering. So check us out. Thanks a lot. Hey, I'm Daniel with Bird Dog Whiskey. I'm the uh, state manager for Florida here. Uh, we're uh, Kentucky bourbon based, uh, flavored whiskeys, regular bourbons, uh, Calumet bourbons, high end all the way up to 15 years old. Uh, we're uh, here supporting amazing animals. We're happy to be here, happy to support uh, everything that they're doing here, taking care of the animals and uh, help us support Bird Dog Whiskey. Go get yourself a bottle at your local store. Hey guys, I'm Jay from the Florida Raptor Center. This here is Stevie the Alplomato Falcon. She's going to be one of the birds of prey that we will fly to guest gloves and teach them all about falconry. We're going to uh, get things cranking here in a couple weeks, so stay tuned and log in to the FloridaRaptorCenter.org.
All right, so we have little babies everywhere. These guys are two weeks old and doing amazing growing like weeds. We got PJ hanging out behind us, Penelope right in front of us, kiddos playing all over the place. So these guys are swimming, eating like crazy, growing like crazy. They are so much fun. And I think this has been the most independent litter so far of little ones. They just love hanging out with people. So they were so much fun on, at wild nights. Um, we let people come in and give them bamboo and mom and dad were loving the bamboo. The babies don't quite know to eat from people yet, but they just love hanging out. So it was always their choice if they came up to the groups of people we had in here. Um, a lot of times they did and hung out. And then we also made sure that people gave them space so they could come back here and take, you know, a rest, whatever they needed to do. Um, and so that was just so much fun. I think the guests all really enjoyed it and had a ball meeting all these little potatoes in here. And uh, yeah, they're just so much fun, making all sorts of fun sounds playing all day long, meeting all of our tours, they will literally just crawl right into your lap. And you know, again, I think it's really fun because we allow our animals to come up to us and choose to participate and clearly they love it. Uh, Cabin bears are just one of the most tactile animals I think that are out there. So this is super reinforcing for them. They enjoy it and we just love watching these guys grow and seeing PJ being such a good dad back here while Penelope's taking a break. And uh, she loves for our guests to come in and uh, give her a little break so we can play with them and she can go take a nap. He's so cute. So our Tiki Huts, this is the oldest one right behind me. It's Lima's outdoor exhibit, our Kinkajous. This Tiki Hut right here uh, is the oldest one we have. They last around five, six years outdoors. And then you have to strip off all the leaves and totally rethatch them. They're from a native uh, palm tree here in Florida called a sable palm. And uh, they last about six years, five years, depends on the weather and how many hurricanes we have here. But um, it was time to get all of our Tiki Huts rethatched. If you see right over there, I got another huge tiki hut on the stage and uh, we did it right before wild nights It was crazy when I've been talking to my tiki hut people for a while. It's the one thing that I don't do I build almost everything here by hand uh, the tiki huts. We have a company custom tiki huts Thank you guys for your support over the years. Uh, they are amazing tiki hut builder. They really help us out a lot um, um, It was a huge project to take down all these huts the roofs and totally rethatch them You would never know it. We did it in two days if you were on a tour here You knew it looked like a construction zone, but it was a lot of fun, super necessary, and it looked great for wild nights. So as you can see, we are pretty exhausted. It has been a crazy week. Uh, every day, like after like five or six days after in a big event, like we just like need to like yeah. uh, breathe, but there's no time. It's spring break. Yeah. We're full. We're, We're so fully cozy. booked. I think I have two openings for tours through the rest of March. Really? Yes. Yeah. It's so crazy. If you're trying to get here, please be patient. Please know that uh, you're calling for like a week out, four days out. You're not going to get a tour right now. Uh, people keep showing up. Please remember it's private tours by appointment only. We really want to share our preserve with everyone, but it is private tours by appointment only. Please make an appointment. Yes, yes. I mean, it's a good issue to have, to have so many people coming and supporting us and loving it. And yeah, we're exhausted. It's so fun, I think, getting ready for an event too, because man, we are like mulching scrubbing cleaning yard work just, i do so yeah. much yard work like my parents cleaning. yeah my parents come <laughs> over for like hours and hours and hours we just clean the bushes and hedges and trim mm -hmm. and it, it just i love it because it makes the preserve look wonderful yep but it makes me exhausted yeah, but it's so worth it so yeah. much fun i hope you guys enjoyed checking out if you couldn't make it hopefully uh, you got to see a little fun uh, snippet of yep. what our night was. Uh, I think we tried to video as much as we could, but man, we got busy too. We got busy. I was <laughs> drinking a little bit, so I didn't grab the camera as much as I should have. So um, I always do this during events. I almost need to hire someone just to come and video it for us. So that way we can just interact with the people and have fun yes. and not have to worry about trying to film. But um, something amazing happened today. 
And um, stay tuned to the next vlog to see what that was as long as everything goes good. What could it be? Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you for the support. As always, go out there, do, do something, something amazing. amazing.